Hi, I'm Mark Lawson, president of ECS Music Publishing Group, home of Morningstar Music. We're so very happy today to have a chance to visit with Mickey Thomas Terry about our newest volume in the African American Organ Anthology. So, Mickey, we're welcome to uh, this little interview. Thank you for having me. So, how many years have we been at this now? Do you know when we started the series? It started around 2000, the year 2000, uh, and um, uh, someone had asked me that question recently, and it had been so long ago, I had actually forgotten, but <laughs> yeah, it was about 2000, yes. Well, there are eight wonderful volumes in the series, and what made you want to start the series in the first place? Well, I realized that there was a void uh, in the literature um, when I was going through school as an undergrad, you know, you studied the standard literature, you know, Bach, Hindemith, uh, Clarenbo, uh, Mendelssohn, et cetera. But African-American organ music was not available and no one really knew much about it. And so I felt that it was time that, you know, we could change or should change that. Well, it's been uh, very well received and we're so excited that we're bringing out a volume nine this year and just a few weeks actually for us. Um, so uh, let's talk a little bit about volume nine and some of the composers and pieces that are in it. Uh, let's start with, there are two pieces by George Walker. One is called Elevation and one is Invocation. Talk a little bit about those pieces and George Walker for that matter. Okay, well, George Walker was the first black ever to be awarded the Pulitzer Prize for music. And I had a 25 year friendship with him uh, up until the time he died in uh, 2018. And um, he was just a brilliant composer by any standard. And the pieces that are represented uh, in volume nine, um, Invocation, and elevation were part of an organ mass that he had uh, composed. It was a Protestant organ mass uh, from 1958. And he never finished that. So he decided to have those two pieces along with a third piece, which is also a part of the anthology uh, as uh, a unit. And it was his three pieces for organ, uh, which I recorded actually on the Albany record label. And so um, all three pieces are represented uh, in the anthology as of volume nine. So then a new uh, composer that we haven't had in the anthology before is Mark Miller, and he has a wonderful toccata on Lift Every Voice. Yes, Mark Miller is, is a, a, a wonderful composer. And, um, you know, I am very excited about having him become a part of the anthology and uh, this piece, uh, Lift Every Voice and Sing, uh, is based on the Negro National Anthem, as it is called. And um, I think in these days and times of Black Lives Matter, it's very appropriate to have something like that. And this is a very exciting, uh, brilliant piece. I really am very fond of it. Yeah. And then David Hurd is back with a piece in the in the volume, and it's called The Acknowledgement. Yes, um, this is the first movement of his uh, multi-movement, Te Deum Laudamus. And uh, this is a toccata, which is fabulous. And um, I am very excited to have David uh, in the series once again, and I, is one of uh, my favorite pieces of his. It really is. It's a, it's a great piece. I played it in recital on, on many occasions, uh, including one time with him being present in the audience. So I'm, I'm very excited. I think everyone will, will really like that piece. Good, good. It's great to have that accessible for folks. And then Undine Smith Moore has a set of variations on There's a Fountain. Uh, and I noticed that the subtitle of that is that it is in the style of Mendelssohn's Sixth Sonata. So talk about that piece. Well, that piece is based on a Negro spiritual. And Undine Smith Moore uh, taught for many years at Virginia State University in Petersburg, Virginia. And she was a very fine composer. And this particular work I am very excited about because 
there were only two works for organ that she wrote. And the first one is published in the anthology uh, from an earlier volume. However, this piece was considered to have been lost and no one seemed to know where it was. And I happened to find it. Um, someone called it, had actually found it before me and called it to my attention. And then I went and got a copy of the piece and then spoke to her daughter about you know, having it included. It's a very uh, lovely piece of music, considerably harder than the, the variations of Nettleton in the previous piece, but it's a very nice piece and I, I'm very pleased to have it represented also as a part of the anthology. One of the things that's, uh, I think, exciting about what's happening with this anthology is that Indiana University has taken this on as a project uh, and are having a lot of their students record the different volumes. And then I think it's the faculty that's going to record this volume nine. And so we should have some wonderful recordings with that. Do you have any comments about that process or what you know about it? Well, I'm very excited about it. I had um, Dr. Jeanette Fischel uh, from the faculty at Indiana to um, come up, propose the idea. And I, I was just 100%, uh, first of all, honored and pleased uh, by the, the, the vision that she had. And initially it was supposed to be just volume nine and then it, the concept was expanded. So I'm very excited about it and uh, looking forward uh, to this, this presentation. Well, we invite people to go to our website, take a look at the new uh, volume and see samples of the work. And we really appreciate your work upon, on this anthology, Mickey. It's a, it's a great gift to the organ community. So thank you very much for doing this. Well, thank you. And I'd like to thank Morningstar because I could not do it without you. Huh. Well, thank you for joining us. And I hope that all of you will take a look. Thank you.